Epcot today after work and we're showing you figment because we finally found the AP pass holder figment picture which we're gonna put right here right here so we are back at the honey bistro we are going to have a chicken and a waffles and we are going to have the orange blossom honey wine last time we had the honey mead and the cheesecake Ooh, look at that pollinator flatbread. And here is the chicken and waffle in the Florida orange blossom wine. All right, let's see how this is. It looks honey. -y. That looks good. Let's try it with a little bit of honey and oh, look at that honey butter. Pretty good. Maybe a little dry, but I mean, yeah, not bad. See what you think. It looks dry. Yeah, it's a little dry, but good. Okay, the heat's coming on at the end. Oh, it's hot. I didn't realize it was going to be hot. Oh, there's jalapeno in here. That's oh, why. Oh, that's why. There's the heat. Okay. So Andy and I found jalapenos in there, so I kicked one off. The waffle is very good. Chicken's a bit dry. But overall, not too bad. And you have some bird friends behind you, talking away. They're giving an opinion. Oh yeah, Are you that's, getting any heat? Oh. No, because I got rid of the jalapeno. But that is some honey, like apple butter. Honey butter? Yeah. Oh, all right. So parts of it are good. We would have it again. So we have a certain friend ahead of us you may recognize, possibly. He wears caps and Roosevelt's. I don't know. Yeah. Someone may know him. Yeah. We'll catch up a little later and you may see a little more. Tall but. friend next to him. But we are heading, hopefully, for our first caramel beignet in France. Yes, it's just so right up here. That's our next stop, so let's do that. I wasn't real big on the chicken and waffle. Ooh, we gotta get right. Was, but we're gonna try some beignets and then see how it goes. Okay, finally doing this. We're doing the uh, croissant, cheese croissant, goat cheese, and the beignet, caramel beignet. And of course, let me try this little uh, rosé frozen slush. Sign us up. And we have, we've wanted these for a while. We have a rosé frozen slush uh, wine, caramel beignet, and then the fromage croissant. So that looks good. They all look good. They just didn't have any forks, so we're going to be creative with our Oh, all right, cutting. yeah. Let's see oh what this looks boy. like. Oh, boy. It reminds me of one of those cream-filled donuts. Oh, boy. Mmm, it does look like a cream-filled donut. Oh, going right for the dessert first. There we go. Oh, well, yeah. That is the way. It's nicely filled, so at least it's just not in the center. That's a big piece. No powdered sugar on that beignet. So it's a cross between a custard donut and creme brulee. Mm. Good. It's good, but I was picturing something totally different, like beignet style. But right. I may try the savory first. Because you got to go savory, right? Here. And we have, back here, we have a good little view of France, kind of, sort of. It does look like there is some filling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah, a lot of cheese. In. So I'm gonna a lot of cheese in this bite. Turn this around. Mm. There, 
is a lot of like she's filling in there so I, yeah not bad it just tastes like cheese and dough <laughs> cheese and dough you've heard it first here cheese oh boy. and dough right. well this is pretty good oh it's warm i didn't know it was warm give that a little whirl although i guess they may prefer the ones across the way that they have all the time yeah uh, what is that, lemon? I honestly don't know if I prefer one or the other. I'm usually more sweet, but I kind of might like this better. It looks nice. Oh, that's nice too. So I guess the nice thing is both items, they don't just have like a little dollop of filling. It actually looks like it's filled pretty good. Yeah. It's, actually, it's nice flaky crust it's yeah. more than just you're gonna lose cheese. your cheese up top mm. I'm not sure on I don't know on the donut all right I'll mix and match here okay that bite mm. the second bite was better but doesn't it just taste like a custard filled donut mixed with a creme brulee on top yeah, because it's got the crunchy top. A that caramelized. From, yeah. I, I like this. It's good. Mm. So I think I like the creme brulee better. Better than this. They're, they're both good. I like all three items, though. So three winners. All right. We are getting a repeat because we really, really like the mufalada. Mufalada? Mufalada. Oh, we had the Bayou cocktail, I guess, the beer flight. All right, so we have our first repeat. So we have the Mufalata Panini. And then we like the name of this beer, Pretty Things Ale, or Pretty Thing Ale. Yeah, and it wasn't too bad. So we're gonna share that. And you know, we went on about this last time. So let's see if it's as good. Looks like it's got smaller. But look at that though. It's the same size. And still good? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have rain. That's really good. <laughs> I mean, it just has a ton of olives in there and a ton of cheese. It's just really, really good. All right, pretty thing ale. Here we go. That just look good. That's a good color. Okay, I'm glad we didn't get the flight because I think I would have liked this the best of all of them. And there was an IPA in the flight, which we may not have liked. Try that beer, Andrew. I did. We oh, did? And what did you think? It wasn't bad. I tried it because I didn't want to spill it walking over. <laughs> Definitely do not pass the Mufalata <laughs> Panini. So good.
place up with your phones, please. Get your phones out. You know I try hard to make it. I just want to make you proud. I'm never going to be good enough for you. Can't pretend that I'm all right. It's just too late. And we can't go back. I'm sorry I can't. Guys, looking a little, a little iffy here. So it's the looking past a little dark. Few days have either been super, super hot or super stormy, and I mean angry thunder. <laughs> so hopefully we can make it to the car. But how fun was that? We got to hang out with Simple Plan. I did not get to hear. I'm just a kid. It was perfect, they ended with perfect, so. There you go. Now what are the odds we don't get poured on here? I just don't know. Oh, that's a nice shot there. Yeah, there's Station no clouds. Earth and then the flame. <laughs> the birds are going nuts. This area always freaks me out. They are going nuts here. And 12,000. I've got a lot of stuff. Whoa! Coming in hot. Oh, another one. <laughs> Listen to this music. Wow. That's sounds pretty cool. Irishy, doesn't it? It does. It's a little Irishy. But we're in Mexico. Yes. Looks cool at night. We still have to eat inside here. Very nice at night. Grand Fiesta tour, probably a five minute wait. Oh, the three amigo ducks. And a nice spaceship Earth, angry sky. Test track. All right, will we make it before we get poured on? That's the big question. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time we got stuck in Epcot pouring rain. No. There she is. Spaceship Earth looks nice. Very dark. All right, well, we are out of here. Another fun evening at Epcot. So give us a like and she's, look who she has. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's Grogu. But, yep, give us a like for the video and come along next time. Yep, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time.